Hi folks, my name is Ray and it's been a while since I last time posted any videos on this channel. Um, so this video is kind of the second reborn for the channel. Reading your emails and uh, reading the YouTube comments, I felt really inspiring to see how people get landed on their dream jobs. So I've decided to continue my journey on YouTube and share more knowledge uh, on this platform. So this video will be about general interview preparation for front-end engineers. So whether you want to apply for big tech companies or you just want to apply to smaller companies, it doesn't matter. This plan will work for you. Uh, so if you just follow the main steps. So uh, before we started, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and let's start. First of all, you need to set up your goal. You need to clearly understand what do you want to achieve and how. And list all the companies that you want to apply for. Uh, this will help you to better understand what to expect from interviews. And depending on the list of the companies, the time frame can be different. And the next first step is to define the time frame. Having the start and the end of the goal will help you to better structure the material and spread it across the uh, timeline. And also defining the number of hours that you are ready to commit daily for your goal will help you to uh, discipline yourself. At the beginning we all have the high level of motivation that drives you, but at the end the discipline wins. Uh, the discipline that you built in the first two months will help you to achieve your goal. And also how to uh, keep the, the motivation level and also the discipline level is share your knowledge. Uh, sharing your knowledge is essential. When you share your knowledge with the people, you receive the positive feedback. And many people across the world also preparing for interview. So by file your journey and sharing your, uh, your preparation uh, with the people. Uh, this not just helps you, but also helps uh, people across the world. Uh, I personally used uh, some platform to share the uh, to share my preparation steps. I'll leave uh, in the, the link in the description. Also, you can find it somewhere here. Please feel free to use this plan, adapt to your needs, and share with the friends. And once you have a goal, we are ready to define high-level steps of your preparation. So we've defined the high-level goal. Now let's create a high-level plan. How can we achieve our goal? Preparing for a front-end engineering interview for the big tech companies consists of the several steps. The first one is the algorithmic coding round. The second one is the front-end interview. The third one is the system design. And the last one is the behavioral interview. Each step requires considerable amount of effort to prepare, so let's dive into each of the steps and get to know how can we prepare for these steps. So general coding is a standard algorithm coding round, where the company tries to assess your knowledge uh, on the computer science by giving you the problem that requires uh, to apply certain algorithm or data structures. Uh, so this is one of the most uh, time demanding uh, step to prepare for because it requires from you to solve uh, about two or three hundred problems before you start get, getting around well. So to prepare for these steps, I would suggest starting the Princeton University course. It's, it's free and published on the Coursera platform. It consists of the two parts and covers most of the stuff that you need to know before studying uh, or start applying your knowledge on the algorithm problems. Uh, also, uh, I, c I personally suggest checking out these two channels, Abdul Bari channel and the Google Engineer channel. This is one of the best YouTube channels that you can find on the uh, algorithm and data structures. These guys explaining hard concept uh, with, uh, in an easy way that everybody can understand and I personally use this channel to prepare for my interview. Uh, once you are pretty good in the theoretical knowledge, start solving the problems. Uh, there are two platforms. One of them is the lead code and the second one is the hacker rank. Uh, use these platforms to practice on the 
uh, coding problems. Uh, also, there are some certain functionality that allows you to group the uh, problems by certain data structure or the companies. So if, if you have a list of the companies you want to apply for, you can filter out uh, the, all the problems by these companies and then solve the problems that were asked on the real interview in these companies. This definitely helps. Um, so once you're pr uh, solved about two or three hundred problems, I think it would be enough uh, to start to say that you're ready. Also, try to identify the problem pattern. Uh, solve the problems uh, by its pattern. Each pro algorithmic problem usually has certain data structure or a pattern that you need to use uh, to solve the problem. Uh, check out this list of the lead code problems grouped by uh, data structure and the uh, applying pattern. Uh, this list helped me a lot during my preparation and it also helps you to organize your knowledge uh, inside inside your head uh, and applying certain pattern on the certain algorithm problem. So this is it for algorithm part. Uh, the next part is the front-end coding round. So the front-end interview. So the front-end coding interview is designed to assess your knowledge in the such as topic like JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Usually this type of interview is framework agnostic, so knowing the React or Angular will not help you here, but understanding the concept of the JavaScript, of how the browser works, what's the difference between the callback queue and the uh, macro task queue, uh, how browser constructs the page, uh, all of these concepts are the core of our work, and understanding these concepts will definitely help you to pass the interview. I, during my preparation, I compiled the list of the all resources and also my personal notes on each of this topic. So you can basically go through my Notion doc and learn all of these topics, and this will definitely help you to pass the interview. I'll leave the, the link to my Notion doc in the description into my to this video. And also, I'll try to put this link here. All right. Uh, so once you studied all the concepts, uh, now you can basically you can apply these concepts to solve the algorithm problems. Uh, sorry, not algorithm problems, but front end problems. Uh, there is one resource that I find really useful called bfe.dev. So basically this resource contains, contains a set of the front-end coding problems that you can use uh, to practice. Try to solve all of them. There are not that many, about like 100 uh, or 120. So, and expect to spend maybe one month solving these problems and understanding all the, and brushing up the knowledge, filling up the gaps on the front-end. That's definitely easier than uh, algorithmic part because uh, it's something that we do every day is our and it, this is part of our job uh, I, I can also suggest uh, building some widgets uh, so on some type of the interview you will encounter that you will be asked to build for example five star rating widget and you can use only vanilla JS and simple HTML and CSS so practicing uh, building this type of widgets will definitely help you. And in the Notion doc I provided, you also find some common types of the widget I encountered on my interview. And I also provided some simple implementation that you can use uh, to implement your own widgets. So uh, once you're ready, the, that's it for this part. So as I said, uh, one month of preparation and you should be fine here. So what is the next part? The next part is the system design and let's discuss it. This is one of my favorite parts. So the front end system design. This is one of my favorite part because uh, this is actually the reason why I started this channel. When I was preparing for my interview, there was not much material on this topic and each company has its own process for it as, as like assessment system design skills for the front-end engineers so that's why I try to uh, 
uh, share my thoughts with the public uh, on the YouTube and it turned out to be pretty good. So how do you prepare for uh, front-end system design? Uh, the first and the most important advice here is to try to build your own uh, mini apps clone. So pick like the most popular apps, for example, Pinterest or the Facebook or some chat application and try to create a mini app uh, based on only on vanilla. Uh, when you build all this, uh, uh, try to understand the underlying concepts. For example, in the newsfeed, usually we have the inference scroll. And how do we implement this inference scroll? Go, go deeper. How do we implement efficient inference scroll that will work on the mobiles and also on the desktops and so on? And how we actually build this inference scroll? And once you've built it on your own, you will be able to explain it on the system design very easily. And another concept is like, don't be afraid of the diving deep. For example, the Pinterest uh, use very good algorithm and data structures to render this uh, masonry grid. And it actually uses kind of red black tree uh, to efficiently render the squares. And if you try to build your own and you uh, in vanilla, you understand every concepts inside and it, it will definitely help you on the interview. So what else? Uh, learn my videos, go through the videos, understand the structure, understand what topics I cover. And uh, if you don't understand some parts of the, the videos, uh, dive deeper. For example, if you don't understand what are the benefits of HTTP2, then read the book about HTTP2. Uh, understand its pluses and what it actually, what the land of opportunity it opens, and so on. Uh, if you don't understand the concepts of uh, bundling, then learn the webpack. Uh, try to build your own app. And that's that's it for here. Uh, so also, I published several articles on the. Uh, advanced concepts like the inference scroll. Here's a link to my medium. Check check this out. I I wrote some really big or free in-depth article on the inference scroll. So uh, check this out. And if you want to learn the uh, to learn how to build the inference scroll from scratch in vanilla, just go there. So uh, what else can I suggest? Yeah, don't be afraid. Uh, try to once you've built all this apps clone, uh, you'll not just have better experience, but also you will run all these underlying concepts and this will definitely help you career wise. Yeah, I think that's it for system design. And what is the time frame for system design? I feel like three months of the system design preparation is good enough. Uh, some companies also tend to ask uh, API system design or backend system design, but this is a completely different topic. And uh, I would rather focus on the front-end system design first. And if you happen to prepare for backend system design, then there is a big list of resources for that. So let's go to the last part of uh, the preparation is the behavioral interview. So the behavioral interview is one of the easiest part probably of the interview because it's mostly about your experience and how do you work with the people. Uh, the purpose of this is to assess your soft skills. How do you resolve the conflicts uh, with your colleagues? How do you stand for your opinion? And so on. And during this interview, you will be asked typical questions uh, regarding your experience. For example, what is the biggest challenge that you faced during your career? How did you resolve the conflict uh, with, your, with your colleague? And so on. So the best strategy to prepare for this part is to just grab the list of the all like the most common behavioral interview questions and try to prepare for them. Prepare your stories from your experience. Rule number zero, because we are programmers, uh, is to never lie. Never lie on this type of interview. Interviewer can dive deep into any stories. And if 
key spots uh, that you line, then you might receive a red flag that basically uh, fails all your progress on the previous interviews. Don't lie. Prepare the stories from your experience. And even, even if you don't have a story for the question, then you, you need to say the truth that you don't have a good stories. Propose uh, your, own, your own question. For example, uh, you can say that, okay, I don't have the story for this question, but I have the story for another question you might be interested in. And this will help you, uh, interviewer, and help you uh, to drive the discussion during the behavioral interview and also it will help interviewer to assess you as the as the person so for the behavioral interview expect to spend maybe three or seven days to prepare the stories uh, the most common question can be easily found on the internet and i'll also provide a list in the notion doc that i already provided a link to uh, with the most typical behavioral uh, questions on the interview so two stories for each question would be enough so the you're ready just to uh talk about them so and the note to the uh, non-english native speakers so if you know english is not your native language like mine so this means that sometimes you're you will lose the meaning of the of, of the words for example if the interviewer asking you about the conflicts so it's not a bad thing. So conflict in English uh, is something that... So, for example, you're proposing the architectural solutions uh, for the project and your colleagues don't, don't agree with you because they have their point. And this can be called conflict, uh, but this is not a bad thing. It's just like uh, you're trying to uh, find the consensus in architectural solution. So this doesn't mean that okay uh, i want to punch your face and so on no this is not this is not about that um so what else i think that's it for the behavioral part and once this is these are all the steps for the preparation for the interview and let's actually try to summarize uh the timeline for each steps so uh, to prepare for a front-end interview, you'll need to prepare for the coding, algorithmic coding part. Algorithmic coding part usually takes two, three months. Um, the next part is the front-end coding part, which is which takes about a month, and the system design part, which takes about three months. And the behavioral interview usually takes three, four, three to seven days, meaning that the whole preparation will take you maybe six or seven months of two three hours daily commitment but this is actually pretty uh pretty extensive preparation plan if you have like uh, the list of the restricted list of the companies for example only two or three of them then the uh, your timeline will be less but if you have more companies that you want to apply for then the time timeline can increase so that's it for this videos i hope you find this useful please find all the links uh, in the description below and i hope you like it and subscribe to this channel hit the like button post your comments if you have any suggestions post a comment and thank you for watching my channel and thank you for, i i want to say thank you again for all your comments i felt really inspiring reading them so hope you will lend to your dream offer and stay safe. Bye.